My name is Isla and I work in the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences as Postgraduate Admissions Officer. That means that I'm dealing with PhD applications from the point of submission to the point of offers being made. The first step in applying for a PhD is to find an area of research that you're interested in. And basically there are two types of PhD that applicants can apply for. With the first type, they develop their own research proposal and then seek out an appropriate supervisor who is interested in their field of study. And with the second type, they apply for an existing project which has already been advertised, usually on our department's web pages or the faculty website or sometimes through commercial websites. I applied for an existing research project but they were happy to allow me to have input into how I would proceed with carrying out the research. Um, I developed my own research proposal, um, so that started obviously with coming up with the idea itself initially, but then also filling out all the forms, answering the questions and things like that. So it, is, it was quite a long process, um, but definitely a very rewarding one as well. If you decide to develop your own research proposal, you must find an academic that will be able to supervise you and whose research interests match your own. You should also try and make contact with the academic so that you can discuss your research proposal with them. Usually they do this either through a literature search, looking at the research literature on their proposed topic, or by looking on the website and going to the staff pages and having a look at the research interests and the research output of individual staff members and then selecting a potential supervisor in that way. Having identified a potential supervisor, it was actually them who then pointed me in the direction of the PhD funding um, that ultimately I got. To finish off with, there is an interview um, where obviously they want to appraise you a bit more as a person because if they're going to be working with you for three or four years, you have to hope that they like you a little bit. Part of my scholarship, I had to do my PhD on a specific area. And with my supervisor, I developed the proposal, uh, developed my research questions and now I have a clear uh, idea about uh, what exactly I'm researching. To apply for a PhD, you'll need to apply online using our online application form. We advise that you apply as early as you can. This allows you enough time to provide everything that you need to for your application and for us to process it as well. I would recommend that any prospective candidates applying for a PhD would make sure that their application is, is thorough and detailed, not to leave anything out and make sure that they include everything in their application. If your PhD application is successful, you'll be made an offer through the online applicant tracker. You should accept or decline the offer as soon as possible to confirm your decision. If you're thinking about applying for funding for your PhD, then you'll need to have a look at funding opportunities when they're advertised on the Graduate School website. Normally quite late in the year, probably about October or November time. There are usually deadlines for the funding and it's important that you're aware of these deadlines so that you submit your application on time. So before embarking on my PhD, I was really apprehensive as to whether it was the right direction for me to take uh, in terms of finding jobs afterwards. Um, but now since I've started and I've completed my first year, I realised that I have increased my employability, I've developed new skills, and I definitely know it was the right decision for me.